Welcome friends and artists. To this video, we're gonna be drawing the skeleton from the lateral view. In the last video, I've done the front view and other angles, and in future videos, I'll be doing three quarter views, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those. So let's go ahead and get started. Over on the right, I have a reference that we're gonna draw, and then over on the left is where we're gonna draw it. So the first step we're gonna do is draw the proportions. Let's take a look at that. My technique here is going to draw the head and that's gonna be our reference. So I'll start with a sphere there and then I'll do another sphere that is roughly three quarters of the size. Once I have that, I'm gonna draw a vertical line straight down and we can start mapping out our proportions. I'm gonna use the seven and a half head method. So I'm going to take a length of the head and I'm gonna go down three. So there's one, there's two, and there's three, let me label these. So the first one is the nipple, the next one is the navel, and then the next one is the crotch. And then to get a half, what we're gonna do is come up a half here, and that's gonna be the hip. Then I will go down four more heads from the hip. So let's take the head here from the hip. We'll go one, two, three, and four. Down here at the bottom is the foot, up to is the knee, and in between here is the thigh, or the bottom of the hand. All right, now that we have the landmarks, let's go ahead and start drawing in the skeleton. Create a new layer here. And I will finish drawing out the head here. So at the, the larger, the reason of two spheres is to draw in the mandible. So we'll drop down here. This is where the jaw is gonna be. And the rest of this, this smaller circle is the cranium and which we'll use that as a reference as well. So a quarter of the way down here from the cranium is where the neck will be. And that will also be where the ribs start. So the ribs are going to be roughly just above the navel. And the ribs are also just slightly, maybe a quarter larger than the length or the width of the head. So let's go ahead and kind of draw those in. It's gonna be kind of an egg shape for the rib cage. So that is kind of what we'll do for the ribs. Then we can do the pelvis. The pelvis is going to be right in between the navel and the hip and come down to the crotch. And then the pelvis is roughly one cranial unit in size. So what we could do is do a square to get the size. And then we could draw the pelvis in. And one way you could think about it is it's kind of shaped like a, a yin or a yang, half of it, as far as the tailbone and then curving into the hips. And then the hip is just on the front of that center line where the femur connects. So now we have had the pelvis, so we can go ahead and draw the femur. I'm gonna start with the knee, and the knee is gonna be right here at the center line. And the kind of roughly draw the condyles here. And then the back of the femur is gonna be right in front of the center line, and it's gonna kind of curve down. And the reason that it curves like this is the hamstrings fit in here. And also if your knee bends, your calf muscles will fit there. So that's kind of the reason for the curve back there. And then right up here is the hip curved in. We'll go ahead and do the foot and the heel is about a quarter cranium behind the center line there. It's about a half cranium up in height and then about a cranium and a half quarter on the length. Now that we have the foot, we can go ahead and do the tibia. So we'll start with drawing at the knee and it'll come straight down that center line, connect into the ankle. And then we also have the fibula, which connects here at the ankle, right here at the back portion of the two bones. All right, now that we have the lower legs, we can go ahead and do the spine. So the spine was gonna connect here at the cranium and it's going to curve back toward the back of the ribs. And then when it gets down here, it's gonna curve back in toward 
the spine. All right, now that we have that, we can go ahead and do the arm. So the arm is starts here at the top of the ribs, comes down to about the navel, and then that's the elbow, and then from the elbow down to the crotch is the wrist, and from the crotch to half the way of the thigh is the hand. Another way to think about it, I'm gonna draw the hand is roughly just slightly more than a cranial unit. And then we will measure out one head unit just over that would be the forearm, then roughly the ribs or one and a quarter head length is going to be the humerus. We can also add the scapula. So the scapula is one crania in length and it's kind of a triangle in shape and then the shoulder is right there behind the center line. Now we can go ahead and do the humerus. Now we can go ahead and draw in the ulna, which is on the back side of the elbow. And we can also draw the radius, which is on the front side, up to the wrist. And then we can draw in the hand. All right, I think we'll wrap it up there. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or even suggestions on anatomy or drawing of the figure. I'm working my way through series. I'm going to be doing other angles of skeleton and muscles. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those. And I can't wait to share them with you. I'll see you next time. So long.